And what I'm going to do is add an HTML block. I'll put it in here just like that. And then let's open up our code editor. We'll just get rid of this here because we don't need that anymore. And what we're going to do is we need to add some lines of code into our editor. We're going to start first with the section. And we'll close the section. And then we're going to add the first div and then close that div. Well, let's go ahead and start there. So what we have is I'm going to call this uh, modal example. That's going to be the ID just in case you need to target it for any kind of styling. <clears throat> we also need some special sections since we're using an HTML block and we're not using one of the Mobirize sections what we need to do is to uh, create some create a section basically and make it think that it's uh, like a Mobirize section so what we have here is we have a special class it's called mbr-section so let's put that in class equals mbr-section and this is going to be let's just call this um, I'll just show you what it looks like if this is all that we do so I'm just showing you this as an example so that you can see what it looks like if we don't if we don't put the right classes in so let's see we have this here you can see um, that there's not much padding or space around this. You can see whenever I click it, you see how it's just all around here, but the rest of these look like real blocks of content. But we need to put in some special uh, classes, and we need another uh, div in here in order to create that. So let's go ahead and put that in. <clears throat> So we're going to put that here, we're going to take this one, and we're going to nest it inside of here. So let me just clean up the code. Let's go back here. And this is something that I pulled from an earlier, um, an earlier project that I was working on. Uh, but this is actually one of the article sections of, um, that you would normally bring in put into here like it would be like this section here so what I'm going to do is I don't need this one because that's the one if it was right after the navigation bar it actually leaves a little gap of space at the top for the navigation bar so I don't want that one I need this MBR section and then on the second div that I did before our row I need all of this so the section container container and section container isolated. So I need uh, this entire piece of code. So I'm just going to copy that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it right here. This is the same exact uh, setup that is in the other that I just took it from. Now we have section container, container, section container, uh, dash dash isolated. And then we have our row column, and then that's going to be here. And let's just check it out. And so now you can see there's the appropriate amount of padding. You can see that all of this is a, a real block now, as opposed to just being the same size as the text. So that gives you a little bit of padding in order to put all of your content inside of there. I think that's a pretty important part uh, to go ahead and do at the beginning. And like I said, it's this. Um, it's this uh, right here. So MBR section is the section class. And then you need another div inside of that with MBR dash section underscore container. This is actually underscore underscore two of them. Container and then the word container. And then MBR dash section 
underscore underscore container dash dash isolated as a class name for this div. And then from there, you can begin to set your rows and your columns inside of that. So we just need this, uh, this container section here. And then inside of that, we can be, begin to set our content. What we don't want to do is put that. And so we're just going to leave that for now and just have it as nothing. And what we want to do to create a modal is we need to go to bootstrap to the documentation and we need to get the uh, code for the modals. So if you go to getbootstrap.com and you click on JavaScript, we're using JavaScript that's built into the Bootstrap framework in order to create the action. When we click the button, the modal shows up. And if you look down here, uh, you can see that the modal is one of these options. So just click that. And it gives you an example of what you're going to have. And then we want the live demo. So when we click the button, we want that to happen. We want a button or a, uh, a window to come up to the front. We want this to get dark. And when we click off of it, it should go away. So this is exactly what we want right here. We're just going to copy that to the clipboard. We're going to go back to Moby Rise. And we are, I actually want to paste it down here below the section. You'll see why in just a moment. So I'm just going to paste that in. So now we have all of our uh, modal content here. And then we have our button that we click in order to trigger the modal. So what we need to do is we need to take the button, only the button, and we need to cut that and we need to put it up here inside of our row. Now I have this set as a row column. Normally you might see row and then another div with the column extra small 12 or something like that. When you only want it to be one long row but you don't want any columns in it, you can actually combine those two and make it a row column. So that's what I want here is just uh, one big row or one big column all the way across. So I'm going to paste that. This is my button. Let's clean up the HTML a little. <clears throat> and then this is going to be the, uh, the button text that displays. So let's just say launch modal, just to make it our own. And OK, and that's good. Let me show you what it looks like. OK, so we have our button here that says launch modal. I'm actually going to center that button. I know that this works, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Up here in the row column class, just type in text dash center, and it will center the modal on the page. And now what we have down here is um, essentially when you click this button, then it's going to toggle modal, and it's going to target hashtag my modal. Now a hashtag means an ID and what it's doing is it's targeting this uh, outside class right, or this outside div right here and a div is called my modal and then it's going to essentially trigger all of this code to show up and to happen. Uh, here is a button that has a, um, it's going to have a class of close, which is going to allow you to close the modal. It's going to be a little X. We have our modal title. And so you'll see that there's going to be a title there. There's the modal body. This is what goes into the middle. And you'll see these ellipses in there. And then we have the modal footer, which right now has a button that says close and a button that says save changes. So you'll see it now as we do this. I'm going to warn you right now, do not click on this button inside of Moby Rise because it'll trigger it in such a way that it won't actually work. So in order to get this modal to work, you need to preview it in the browser, and then the browser will do all the appropriate um, work for you to see the modal.
let's take a look at it. We have our modal here, our button, and we're going to click it. And now our modal shows up. So we have our title, we have our body, and then we have our footer with the two buttons. So you can click this to close, or you can click outside, or you can click the close button, and it will actually close the modal for you. So let's go back to our Moby Rise site. And what I want to do is I just want to put in a little bit of content here. So I want to just change, change the title. And I want to put a little text in here. So I'm just going to grab some of this dummy text. I'm actually going to put this inside some P tags. Now I'll save it, and then you'll see um, the changes that have been made. So when we launch our modal, now we have our text inside the body. We changed the title, and now we still have our buttons down at the bottom. I was asked about placing an email form or some sort of form inside of the modal so that people can click it, and then uh, when they click it, you either send an email or it does some sort of action with a form. So building a form out is a little bit more extensive. I'm going to cover that in a second video. But this video is just to show you how to build uh, the modal. And then we'll link it up and be able to email that information out from the form uh, in a second video. So in order to get the form components, we need to go back to getbootstrap.com. And we'll click on CSS. And then right here you see that it has the CSS for forms. So this is a basic form example uh, with many different um, components of the form. These are an email address, a password. You can choose to upload a file, or there's a little but, uh, kind of a check box here, and then a submit button. We're just going to take all of this. I'm just showing you, and we can copy it. We can bring that back into uh, right here where it says modal body. We don't want this text. If you want to keep the text, it's fine. Or if you want a little introduction text, that's OK. But for this purpose, I'm just going to replace what's here with our form. So if I paste it, now you can see our form starts here. And I'm just going to go down to here, and I'm just going to clean up the HTML a little bit so that we have it properly nested. So now you can see our form here. And there is a email address, password, a place to upload a file. This is an example helper text. There's a checkbox, and then the submit button. Let's see what happens whenever we put our form into the modal. When we launch it, now we have our form with all of our form elements inside the body, including the submit uh, button. Now maybe I, I think it's a little bit nicer to have the submit button over here. So I'm going to take it out of here and I'm going to change this button here. So when we go back to it, our HTML, we have a submit button here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut that. And I'm gonna put the submit button here and just paste it right in. So now it's gonna be uh, just next to our close button. Let's go ahead and save that. So now when we launch our modal, we've taken the submit button out of here and we've labeled it over here. Now these are both uh, the default buttons for this particular um, version of MobiRise. I want to make that button stand out a little bit so that people will see 
the submit button and then this close button will be ghosted so it'll just have an outline with the white space on the inside so instead of button default which is the outline button I'm just going to change that to button primary and what that does is it gives it uh, the class of primary and uh, button primary <clears throat> is actually normally a blue but it's whatever has been set uh, as the, the primary button so let's go ahead and look at that and you can see that it will be um, much like these buttons up here one is uh, ghosted and one is red it will look similar so now we have our submit button that looks like it stands out a little bit more and then we have our close button here so that's how you create uh, the actual modal inside of uh, Moby Rise. And remember, when you start it, you need to start a new section and you need to have this uh, in the first two. So you need a section and then inside that a div. And then once you get inside of that, then you can build out uh, your button or your text or whatever you want to do in order to um, in order to launch this modal and then when you have your modal text make sure that all of this make sure all of this stays after the section do not put it inside the section here it will not work if you put it inside of here it needs to be outside the section so that it can come up over the top of the page otherwise it will blend into the background of the page so if you have any questions you can email me uh, my email is brian, B-R-I-A-N, at highwaywebconsulting.com. If you want to send a Facebook message, and that's easier, uh, you can also um, find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash highwaywebconsulting. <laughs>